All right, listen, I'm going to do a little work here at Rhino Productions before we head to KDK Radio tonight, but this is Dan Makuga, but it's not the Dan Makuga we want to talk about now because hours away they're going to do a very special evening, a plaque, a memorial in the honor of truly one of the best teachers that New Brighton, that school district, ever had, and I really believe if he would have been my elementary school teacher, I might have had a chance to actually do something after high school because everyone that I've ever talked to about your uncle, Danny, they always talk about him as the educator, as a teacher. And whether he was in the classroom or with the family or on that field, wherever he was coaching, it was all about teaching, right? Oh, 100%. 100%. And that's that. I, I learned so much from Uncle Dan that uh, people actually started telling me, hey, you look like Mark, but you act like Dan. And I always had to ask, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Because his crazy personality, but it was always a good thing. Never yeah. one bad word about him. Mark happens to be his dad, his lovely mom, Barb. They are great people. But let's talk about your uncle a little bit. Some of your earliest memories of this guy. And what I remember about him... His eyes could basically tell you exactly what he was thinking. He always wore his heart on his sleeve, and he was one of the most compassionate people that I've ever met. And the thing that I loved about him the most, he actually listened to what you were saying. Yep, and he was a jokester. That's my earliest memory of him from uh, my fifth birthday, I believe it was. He uh, got me a gift. It was fake poop. And as a five-year-old, I opened it and yelled, <laughs> I don't want it. And that's how he tells the story, but uh, he told the story, but... uh uh, that's my earliest memory because, like I said, he, he was a prankster and a jokester. I used to get him joke books every Christmas and something about jokes, and he loved collecting things. And I, Like I said, just a great guy. So We're all a product of New Brighton uh, School District. Absolutely love our alma mater and the alumni, of course. Everyone plugging into this because of Dan Makuga, his uncle. What do you think his legacy will be? I just think it's all of the students who have matriculated through that school district who've gone on to become business leaders, community leaders, coaches, moms, dads. Just his body of work will speak for itself for many, many years to come, long after you and I are probably here. Yes. And like you said, that the teacher, I think that's his legacy. I mean, uh, at his viewing, there were so many people. I had no clue who they were, but they stretched from his first year of teaching to his last year of teaching. It was just students coming out to... Uh, like you said, just honor him. So I, the teacher, that's the perfect perfect phrase for what he was. Well, listen, all I know is that those students who have now become adults, children of their own, and even grandparents will be teaching their children some of the things that he taught them in the classroom. So for you, Dan, rest well, class to Smith, a body of work that will never be forgotten and will carry on for generations to come. And even though I won't be there tonight, I'll be with you in spirit, but Dan is on his way to pay tribute to his uncle at New Brighton. Truly the best hometown anybody could ever have. It's your Pratt Pack for Rhino Productions. Have a great rest of your day.